welcome. You are here with Dr. Nilda Perez with Business Foresight, creating strategies towards your extraordinary future. Your profession for extraordinary success. So, uh, well, moving right along. So again, hopefully you guys have already uh, downloaded your worksheet. So we're going to go a little bit over uh, the overview from last week. Last week, we discussed having that panoramic view of the world, um, constantly seeking problems and brainstorming solutions. This is innovation. Also, we also discussed the importance of surrounding yourself around brilliant people, people that know more than you, that, uh, you know, again, that can help you to be able to, to learn more. So this you can do in so many different ways. You do this through mentors, through being in, in groups, and in you know having a, a reading, and always being surrounding yourself around other people that know more than you, and that can be in, in so many different arenas. Um, it's also important that your personal and professional, or that you're constantly doing uh, professional and and a professional and personal development, that you're always looking to improve that, and that's how you you know, support your, your, even, you know, your financial health, because the more you know, right, the better, the better it is. So then, um, you know, the more you can, you can pull from. And then I also explained about having that 3D innovative viewpoint, and this, uh, this is based upon, uh, you know, foresight and how you build on that. So we're looking, looking, you want to look at things that you can improve on and develop uh, the foresight, your foresight possibilities. So today, we're going to bring this, we're going to go back to, to innovation, and I want to explain this on different terms. Um, there was, I was reading, um, and I will discuss this innovation from this connecting dots. Um, quiero explicar la innovación en términos de puntos. Hay puntos que se tienen que conectar, y a base de eso es que uno tiene un, un, uh, a broader picture, más, más uh, extensivo. El, el panorama. Um, Dr. Sir Richard from Virgin Group, which um, comprises about of about 400 companies. It, Virgin Group is like the, the mother, is like the umbrella, and under him he has 400 companies. His mantra, or his DNA as he calls it, of his companies is that ABCD. And ABCD actually means always be connecting the dots. Siempre conecten los puntos. And the reason why it's so important to, to connect those, those points because you have this broader, uh, remember when we were kids that we had, like we get those, those uh, they almost look like coloring books and you had to connect the dots and you really didn't know what you had. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, until you, you finished, right? Right, until yeah. you finished. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh wow, you know, it's, it's a dog, it's an elephant, it's a girl. And mm -hmm. you know, you, but until those dots weren't connected, so the pursuit was always trying to figure that out. Well, if you can, if you want to put that into the innovative, uh, that in innovative mindset, that's pretty much what we do. But once that picture is finished, when we were kids, what we would do? Turn to the next one, right? Because mm -hmm. it was almost like this high, like, oh my God, I got this one. Let me go to the other one, right? right? So, oh, so in terms of that, um, in in this article that I read in in Fast Ma uh, Company magazine, David Breyer explains innovation. That's those same terms of dots. And um, the same, you know, same terms that Sir Richard Branson used to build his business on. So what he says is that the dots are an analogy uh, of the array of issues and the concepts and solutions that surround us constantly, most of which we miss. So he says that once you connect those dots, he says you, you start seeing this panoramic view. He says most, uh, most people think that the dots that they see are the only dots that exist. And the idea is always looking for more dots, new dots. Looking for the dots that nobody else sees and making those connections. This can be, um, esos, esos puntos pueden ser en varios distintos. La, la idea es que siempre estemos buscando esos puntos. Y entre más, cuando uno ya llega a cierto punto que ya no está cómodo con los puntos que ha visto, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir con el teléfono, con el celular, the smartphone. Vamos a decir con esto, la computadora, el internet, right? Now, those are things that are comfortable. We know computers. We know internet. So those are the dots that we see. So looking beyond those dots. 
that in. Here's the, a big question. Yeah. How do you find those dots? Okay. So here we go. So that is in the decisions, the decisiones, the solutions. Always looking for solutions. Looking, you know, the, the our decisions, our solutions, our conclusions. This is what we built those dots upon. You know, um, businesses are built on these unknown dots. Why? Because if you're not looking for them, you're not going to see them. It, it won't happen. If you're conformed with the norm and you're conformed with what you see, it's, it's just not going to happen. You're not going to see beyond that. So, so bringing it to that, it's the decisions, the s solutions, the conclusions. These are the things on which you built of that upon. Because now, you know, one of the things that I was talking about last week, um, you know, constantly, I keep going back to this, it's having that imagination and keeping that imagination vivid. What kids do, kids do this all the time. Mm -hmm. And they, it gets quenched because people, you know what, adults are like, come on, that's not real. It's I not. could get deeper into this. I think uh, the education yeah. system kind of uh, kills creativity in a way when you, when you really, you know, take a step back and you look at it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's difficult to, you know, to get back there to that frame of thought. But yeah, it's, it's like acting like a child. Not it, acting, but looking at things like a at, child. Like a child. You're a novice, right? Always looking at, you know, at, at the newness. ¿Qué es lo que hay nuevo? Siempre buscando esos, esos puntos y esas, ese punto de vida que, que no es usual y que la, la persona normalmente no busca. So, then uh, someone comes along, like he says, and he sees beyond the dots. He sees the dots that others miss and that are ignored. Um, this is, those, are, those are the things that are forgotten and that are kind of not revived and bringing that to a whole new level. And these dots change everything. Now we, we I can even go back to um, the, the, the you know, electricity when that, when the first light bulb came. We've come such a long way even from there. Like we've, we've broadened even, even something as simple as the light. Like it's not the same, why? Because somebody says, okay, this is good. So build upon that and making it better and different and more innovative. And here are the other things that we can do. Does that mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like. I follow. All right, you follow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was told I can't keep saying things like. Does that make sense? Um, so la mayoría, la, la mayoría de, los, de las personas tienen que que no ven los puntos y tienen que ver más que los puntos. So the source of these new dots are notions, nociones, um, unexpected connections, conexiones inesperadas. Cosas que uno no típicamente está uh, um, esper esperando, pero buscándola. Tener, estar, en, estar en ese proceso de cons constantemente buscarlas. Ideas, las ideas, um, pos posibilidades. Always looking for possibilities, you know, you know again, things to build upon. Um, and imagination. I cannot say enough about imagination. Imagining is really, really important. We really have to go back to that childlike. That childlike. Oh, it's it's the base of innovation, really. It is. Because if we don't have that imagination, if we don't have that childlike, you know, curiosity, we never build upon. Los niños no tienen ese límite. Ellos no, ellos no ven la vida en límites. Ellos ven todas las posibilidades. Y esa posibilidad es lo que lleva al niño a ver mucho más. Y son mucho más de lo que el, la, la persona usualmente ve. And that, to me, is the most fascinating part. Mm -hmm. That, to me, is so fascinating to see the way that children have this vivid imagination. Now, if they had that vision, that, that imagination, along with our wisdom and our knowledge, so imagine that. But what we do is that we stop the imagination, and then we go, we base everything on that concrete. Mm -hmm. And that, that's pretty much where, you know, where we are. Uh, you know, where there's a problem. So we're going to take a little intermission here. Um, you know, I want you to call us with questions, so please call us at 845-485-1390. Si tienen preguntas o comentarios, por favor, llámenos al 845-485-1390. Okay? Call us. So, are we live? Yeah, you're so. Okay. Okay. You're, you're off the air. Okay. How long is it break for? How long is it break for? Just a few seconds. Why, do you need to go now? Let's go check that thing. Okay. Yeah.
A Juan de 25.7 y la super latina. So, um, I want to talk now a little bit about Renee Mogorni and um, Chan Kim, uh, Kim who uh, are the authors of Blue Ocean Strategy. Now, one of the things that they discuss, and they discuss these dots, and, and not specifically in terms of dots, but they definitely discuss them in terms of value innovation, la innovación de valores. Um, and what they say is that this approach to business that focuses on creating new market space instead of fighting co the competitors, existing, you know, the, the existing competitors, is, you know, this is a very new way of doing business. So what happens is you take that imagination, right, and you actually create things and, and those solutions for people. And um, one of, a very um, classic case is um, the Cirque du Soleil. The Cirque du Soleil is the, the zoo, is the zoo, is the, uh, the circus. The circus yeah. and, and the circus, as most of us knew it, right, as most kids knew it, um, especially as older folks, is that um, we, we understood it and uh, as you know that was entertainment like at that time we didn't have like the playstations we didn't have we didn't have those games so that though when the circus came into town that was like the most fascinating time that was so exciting so what they did is that they took that and they put it together with theater and they took out all the things that were controversial they took away the, the the animals so the animal activists can't you know complain um they took away all of the side shows that were, you know, inappropriate and, you know, they weren't health conscious, you know, having like the fat lady and, you know, all of the stuff that wasn't, wasn't really, um, you know, con uh, health conscious. And they, they created this new thing and it's still the circus. So that was very innovative. So they took something old and brought in something new and merged it together. And then they marketed it to the, cor the corporations. These people understood the circus. So it was it was it was you know upscale to their level, and yet um, it was it was the circus without all the other the bells and whistles. So that's that's innovation. That's seeing those dots. That's seeing the dots that nobody else saw. So este enfoque este de la evaluación y evaluación de, de valor, um, este enfoque es a empresas que se centran en la creación de nuevos espacios, el mercado. Que, que, que logra combater sobre competidores. Because it really does put you in a space all its own. Nobody had ever um, done that with the circus. Nobody had ever come up with that type of concept, that idea. So it's not always necessarily looking at new stuff, but, but taking what you, what's already existing and, and you know, expanding it, changing it, just making, so doing so much more with that. So, in value uh, innovation, you eliminate and reduce the factors that your industry uh, competes on. So you take that away, and um, and you focus on uh, to to the uh, to make to give the, the the buyer more value by you lifting the you know raising the creativity element. Because this is what they did. They they took the creativity out of the circus, which was you know the the. You know, Acrobats and all that stuff. They they took that and they elevated that, and then um, that that was not the norm. And then they, they just went into a whole new market that was untapped because adults no longer go to the circus. Children are no longer interested, and in, if they are, it's, it's on a much smaller scale. So um, when you think about that, you know the norm in the industry has you know these are things that that have not been the norm and have not been offered to the general public. So that's the, the factor. So, eliminar y reducir los factores que de, lo, de los cuales la industria compite, compete, right? There's that competition, no more of that competition because they're in a, in a league of their own. Y eleve los elementos que no son la norma en su industria. So the seam industry, a different way of presenting it. So this supports the notion that connections, ideas, and possibilities and imagination can actually um, position you for that untapped market. You know that that gives you that 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 leverage, um, which means really what it would actually at the end of the day, the Cirque du Soleil had no competition. And if there's somebody that comes in so much later, the competition is really not there anymore because 
they they secured that that space. They secured that space. So um, so being creative and innovative and thinking, you know, thinking uh, out of the box serves two purposes. La crea cre cre hmm. creatividad. Okay, la creatividad y la innovación sirve dos propósitos. El primer propósito es generar soluciones. You, you want to be able to generate solutions. That's all people want. Mm -hmm. People are willing to pay whatever for solutions to make their life simpler. Right? Simple. Isn't that what we're constantly looking for? Um, and then um, you, you set yourself apart from the mainstream. You know, se distingue en la, en la corriente principal, saliendo de, de lo de lo normal y una corriente principal which is just a, all your own. So strategic innovation changes that norm and it creates for you solutions to problems whether you do this in your business or in a profession or you know even from home. Remember of most people started you know even the computer all of these things were started in garages in, garages, yeah. in, in, a, in a kitchen you know Snapple was started in somebody's kitchen table. Right. So, you know, we, we don't, everything, uh, innovation is not necessarily, you know, in a lab. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it can start anywhere. I think once you have that creative mindset, it, it's just a matter of, of where. Yeah, and, and that way of thinking extends to everything, right? You look at cars, you look at telephones, laptops. Mm -hmm. It's not anything new at all. It's just how it's being done that could be new. And that's really what innovation is, right? Right. Um, so, yeah, it makes sense. It could apply to anything. Right. Okay, so the one thing I, I um, when I, in this, uh, a few years back when I was in, in, uh, in my doctoral program, I took a class, and the class was all about innovation. And one thing that I learned that I have to tell you, I think probably like 95 of us in the class were shocked how they, style, um, on cars, right, the, the way that they, um, they style the body of a car, because remember, it's, it's almost often is the body that changes, mm -hmm. and, you know, the inside doesn't change it so much. Right. So they were saying that that was based on shoe styles. That that the boxier cars, when those cars were out, mm -hmm. people were wearing the big, like, boxy shoes. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Now that I'm aware of it, and I see it, and I'm like, oh my goodness, yes. See, but it, this, these are things that are, they're, you know, we don't even know. We don't back then, people know. were considered square, right? So. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that, because we thought we were pretty square cool. And boring. No, no, we thought we were pretty cool, but... Um, but, so that, see, that, I mean, that was genius. Like, how does, wow, no, I never thought of that. Like, you would actually create the, you know, the body of a car yeah. in terms of whatever's in style, in terms of shoes. Mm -hmm. So that, to me, was, you know, fascinating. So, again, you know, la idea es crear las soluciones para simplificar la vida de otros. I think, you know, the bottom line is once we make people's lives simpler, it just, it just takes on a whole new you know, I mean, again, you just you just created a space that's all your own, and and that's really that's at the core of it. So I, I want to close this with a quote because I love I love quotes. My whole life is you know I'm always looking for quotes because it's really I think there's like the motivation. Genius. The motivation on it. There's just so there's so much to them. Um, so it says you have no reason. Dennis Waitley says that you have no reason in the world to achieve your grandest dreams. You have all the reason in the world to achieve your grandest dreams. It says, imagination plus innovation equals realization. And I, with that, I'm going to segue right into you, Cesar, um, who is the CEO of DK, uh, DKD Digital. And you... BKD. BKD. <laughs> uh, you, and again, I've, I've known you for a little while, and I, you know, we've, we've worked together on different little things, but the truth is I, I've just seen... I'm so fascinated by what you do and how you have seen those dots that nobody else sees. And Un unconsciously too. I mean, it wasn't until we started, you know, uh, until we met and we got to know each other more and talking more that, um, you know, that kind of like uh, I saw for myself. You know. Yeah. So it's kind of like that self-realization part yeah. that happened. So. Yeah. Um, so I I want to um, go right into your bio because again the the bio I think will speak a little bit more because I sure. can I can be I am definitely you know the president of your fan club I think second to your wife <laughs> <laughs> in immediate second so um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the audience a little bit about you so Cesar is the CRO and the founder of BKD Digital he is an army veteran uh, he did eight years of service. 
but did a lot more. And I want to thank you for protecting our our nation. Um, then former um, director of technology for Sapien Nitro in New York City. And he's experienced in technology with over 14 years of experience. And you started your own digital agency, um, BKD Digital, which provides web development, design content, and digital strategy. And I think I want to focus more, you know, there's a lot of web developers out there. But yeah, that's yeah, flooded. Yeah. Oh, it, it yeah. is. But what you have done to me has been, you know, in just a few of the projects that I've seen that you've done, it, it's mo so much more than just a website. Mm -hmm. So um, then um, you've also built platforms that collect and analyze. This is the most fascinating part. Co uh, collects data and analyzes autism therapy data. And this assists therapists in creating evidence-driven strategies for children with autism. Yeah, I could, I mean, so, uh, you know, really high level, it's uh, autism. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of parents out there are going to relate. It's one out of 68 children now that are diagnosed uh, on the spectrum. And it's mandated we need to collect data in order to ensure that each child is, you know, given its maximum, uh, um, you know, chances of success, right? And how do we do that? We do that with information. We do it with data. So that's the whole, you know, uh, evidence-driven part of it. Right. It's simply collecting what you're already doing. Right. Taking a step back, looking at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. Is this working for the child? If this is not working, let's get rid of it. Let's right. strategize again, right? So it's a very uh, iterative process, you know. Okay. You, yeah, you get a plan and redo. Okay. So go ahead. Sorry. So here's my question. Um, tell the audience what digital is, because digital is such a broad... <laughs> yeah, and it's always a tough one, especially, um, you know, working, uh, started working more with local businesses. Right. And, you know, in, in my industry, um, that's, we don't even call it digital anymore. It's, it's you know, we focus directly on okay. what the technologies are right. and what the, uh, uh, the objectives and the goals are for, for a given brand or a business, right? right? But, you know, digital, I would just say it's, um, it's who you are whether it's a, as an individual mm -hmm. or as a business brand okay. online. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it could be a, something as simple as your website, but, you know, it could be so much more. Right. Um, right. And, and a, a website really does speak a lot. I, I know um, at one time, and it really has become your calling card or your business card. Mm -hmm. People always want to know. You give them your card, but they're like, okay, so what's your website? They, they want that yeah, they online see, presence. It, is, it gives you a lot of credibility. It does. Um, and especially yes. now, now we're, you know, the majority of the market, um, it's, it's the millennials, right? So, you know, we're getting a little older and that, that whole entire generation thinks differently. They look at things in a whole different way. Right. Um, it's, it's not traditional. It's right. the opposite. It's actually what we're talking about, right? Innovation. They're innovative. You know, right. these are people who are thinking so out of the box that it's right. now it's foreign to us. Right, right, <laughs> right. right. Well, yeah, and I, and I love that because, you see, I love that, that creativity because it's true, you know, uh, kids today are just, you know, and my kids, I mean, like young adults, like they just think so much different than, mm -hmm. than we did. And I think in, in a lot of ways, it, it, that's fascinating. And then... It is because they're yeah. like, forget about the rules, forget about how we did things. Um, you know, this is a new day and age, so, um, you know, we have to adjust and I right. think it's definitely the right way to go. Oh, for sure, you know, right. changes lives. It does, it does. So, um, what does a digital expert do, Zeus? Um, now, this so is all the geeky are. stuff. I'll geek yeah. out. Um, yeah, just so, please. You know, I mean, I, originally I started off as, um, as a data, uh, database administrator, so uh, that was with the Department of the Army. Um, so what, what, what was I doing there? Exactly what we're doing today. We're, we're collecting data, we're okay. analyzing, and we're creating business plans or some type of strategy, right? Okay. Um, so, you know, for me, uh, I start off as a developer, so it literally means, you know, writing the code, sitting in front of a computer for hours, you know, um, you know working through your algorithms and making sure that your product uh, at the end of the day is going to work. And, and how, how fun is that? For me, it's a lot of fun. Okay, I love good. It. I, I love it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, I could sit but there like, okay. and, and you can ask Bernie, I'll sit in front of a yeah. computer, right. uh, literally I can go for sometimes for 10, 12 hours easily, easily, really? um, but that's probably more because of my personality. Okay. As well. Um, All right. I'm sure some people are not so enthused to sit in front of a computer for that long and code. And, but you know, know what? We need you. So that's good. I'm glad that there are people <laughs> like you that actually enjoy that because 
um, when it comes to that that kind of stuff, it but doesn't. It, it's like anything else, right? You know, some people are into um, you know heavily into sports, right? They're fanatics over football, basketball. Right, right, um, right. You know, I was at one point too, but yeah. you know, my my priorities shifted. Okay. But it's anything, you know. You might be into race cars, or whatever. Um, it could be mm -hmm. whisk, wicker basket. Uh, there you whatever go. That whatever. Is. Right. But you know, right. if that's your passion, that's your passion. Right. So it's fun to you. Right. But here is the thing. I got to go back to. But you, you, you. Um, it goes beyond that because what you do is actually solve people's problems because there are programs that we have talked about, you know, different things that different areas and different right. things that can be developed. All of this online, and so online you can actually run an entire business and never leave your house. Yes, yeah, there's, yeah, there's or a, leave your house and take it with you. There's huge companies. Uh, WordPress, by the way, I'm sure everyone's Everybody heard of WordPress. Everybody knows WordPress. Absolutely. Does now. I'm mm -hmm. sure that most people don't know that. They don't have a corporate office. Really? So WordPress is about, I think, 250 employees, okay? Uh -huh. And they all work remote from home. Wow. And you look at how huge of a corporation, how huge of a product WordPress is, and how, I mean, it, I forget what the actual percentage is. But the majority of websites are run on WordPress. So yeah. that kind of says a lot, right? And wow. it's all done. Done, all done remotely. Let me ask you, how is that for a developer? I mean, as a developer, when you develop... As a it, developer, it's, yeah. it's preferred. Um, most developers are introverts. Uh, we don't like distractions. Um, and uh, so it works great. Most developers want to work from home. Um, and they do. And, you know, at any place I've been, it's how many days can we get remote? Okay. Because what okay. happens when you're remote, you get more work done. There's do. not... You know, you don't have the PM, you don't have the project manager coming to you every five minutes asking you if something's and done. Travel, or <laughs> and travel, and Yeah, and, you can and, literally and set up wherever, and, yeah. wherever is comfortable for you, right. uh, whether that's at a cafe or mm -hmm. in a library or in your home. Um, that's the great thing about technology is that you can literally work from anywhere as long as you have a connection. You know. Okay, so here's another question. Um, what made you get involved with technology and how um, you've leveraged it to positively impact this ASD applied, which is uh, it's an awesome opportunity for so many for parents, for um, for therapists. Mm -hmm. Ex explain that. Uh, was it for the what made you get involved in technology? In technology. Yeah, to have um, you to have you leverage it, you know, so positively. You know, if I had to go, if I had to go back, it was. Um, really started in high school and it was only because of a couple of friends. I was new to the town, didn't know anybody and happened to uh, just really connect with these uh, with these two guys, um, Mike Prochenko and Ricky Lorenko. Right? Okay. Not, it, it rhymes, right? Uh, it does, it does. <laughs> but, um, they, you know, they, they were, especially this guy Mike, he was just, you know, kind of like that, I mean, not that he was a nerd, but, you know, he was into this stuff and right. um, just because, you know, we, we were friends and I saw what he was doing, I you know, struck an interest in me, and I was like, oh, I can get this. Oh, oh this is cool. Okay. Then all of a sudden, we were, you know, all three of us, we were, even before AOL was out, we were, like, communicating with each other online. Um, and that's really where it started, and uh, it just, it didn't stop. Even after, uh, in, in service, while I was at Four Cars in Colorado, um, you know, I would just keep up. You know, I was called a barracks rat. The guys had to literally, like, get me out. Let's, yeah, you know, right. let's go out, let's paint the town, and I'm, I'm like, oh, but, you know, I, I want to figure this one thing out. It's like, that's put that stupid thing away from yeah. Perez, you know. <laughs> um, but it's uh, been obsessed ever since, you know. It just it hit me and it hasn't stopped. Right. And um, so my next question is: um, You've done a lot with this, um, and one of the things again that I'm most fascinated with, that I was really most impressed with, was when you actually like sat with me and said, "Oh look, I developed this," and what you showed me was ASD applied. What made you level? I mean, how? What sparked an interest in you to say, "I can solve that"? You know, something hit me where I felt like I was doing the same thing over and over again, ever since my first like official, you know, career job mm -hmm. in technology. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been building out the same exact solution, just in hundreds of different ways. Okay. Um, and it just it hit me. It, it's like you know uh, that cliche. You know, the light bulb went off, and it's like. Eureka, like, wait, what, what, what's been going on all this time? Right. I've been doing this, and I, wait, I can actually do this for, for myself, for something that's, like, purpose-driven, that, that'll help people? Like, right. I could actually do that. Right. And, and that's, um, um, 
you know, that's how it happened. Uh, so my son Emilio, he's he's on the spectrum. He's autistic, uh, autism spectrum. Okay. He receives uh, or received in home uh, therapy. Okay. Um, and um, you know, as you know, Bernie, you know, she's she's a huge advocate for children she's with special amazing. needs. Oh my goodness. And yeah. um, you know, it's when we, you know, I I forget who actually was the first to bring it up. Not that it matters, but it's like we just identified that this this could be an opportunity to do something. Mm -hmm. um, not even financially because we don't charge for the service. It's something that's just really done out of the goodness of our hearts. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, you know, the, uh, so anyway, long story short, therapists were coming in, saw them carrying around this, like, literally huge, thick, thick binder, like five inches thick. Yeah. With yeah. all of our son's information on it. And first thing for me, I'm like, well, that's not secure. You know, that's yeah, <laughs> really, exactly. Um, yeah. So what happens if your car stolen? Okay, what happens if a, something you know tech guy, yeah, goes it's on like, fire? Oh. Like, I mean, come on, yeah, you know, right, how am right. I supposed to keep up? Or how, you know, what worst case scenario, right? right. What what happens? Yeah. What happens is that that stuff goes away. Mm -hmm. So I said, that's not smart. Let's you know, I'm just going to build something out, and we started using it just for simple little things, you know, um, writing in session logs. How did Emilio perform? against whatever uh, programs or tasks uh, were set up for the day. Right. You can take all that stuff down, which is mandated anyway. Right. You need, insurance companies need to, uh, or they require that you document this. Right. Um, and again, it's all for, uh, to make sure that the child's actually, you know, progressing. Right. Um, so that's, that's how it started. Really simple, you know, like, oh, hey, we can, you know, we can do this uh, um, mm -hmm. on our laptop. We can do it on our, on our phone, on our tablet. Right. Uh, right. So that's really how it started. That's awesome. So you took something that you knew well because you knew how to build. You were you were yeah. a web developer. You knew how to develop, uh, you know, programs and you knew how to develop sites. But you took that and then you built out something that would help. And so let me ask you: How does that help? How does that help parents? How does that help therapists? Well, one for one, it it uh, it really creates transparency. Uh, even though the therapist always shares the notes, but that therapist holds that binder. You know. Um, it, it's kind of their property right. um, in the interim. I mean, you can always, you're, you're the parent, right? That stuff really belongs to you. Right. But the therapist is the one that, you know, she's qualified, he or she is qualified. Um, you know, it's, uh, they have to be ABA therapists, which is like years of school. Right. Uh, I think it's like a master's um, yes. type of degree. Yeah, um, absolutely. And licensure and, uh, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not like, you know, it can't just, you know, anyone can't just pick it up and get a weekend certification and do it. No, <laughs> no. Um, but... <laughs> Um, bring me back, Nelda. What was the question? Yeah. So the question was, you know, um, how does this solve a problem? Oh, so the the problem mm -hmm. is, it's literally just that binder and just the insecurity uh, or the lack of security with that, okay. um, lack of transparency. So just think of, you know, it's like it's like chat, right? Google Chat. Right. It's always there, and mm -hmm. whatever you you write in, you can always go back and and just. You know, okay. It's it's the fact that it's there. It's real time. And it's shared across uh, anybody within your team. Is it secure team. now? Because we were talking about security. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, one of the totally things easy. that was a big yeah. you know, issue well, for you. you know, yeah. um, well, what, yeah, that was an issue for me. But on the on the technology side of it, it's not really a big deal at all. Like, mm -hmm. um, you know, getting a secure, uh, you know, yeah, connection. Sorry, it's, yeah. you know, every, everything is HTTPS, right? So okay. it's encrypted. Um, and even, like, I use Amazon AWS. By the way, folks, Amazon is probably the... Is like the juggernaut of technology companies. They're right. just not e-commerce. Right. Um, uh, I no, forget how much. That's another company of, that's like, like literally, out of literally the, water. the uh the servers. Um, right. AWS is huge. Every single large company and small companies. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I use them for everything. It's right. you know it for what you're getting. It's it's amazing. Okay. It's affordable. Um, and it's super secure. It's Amazon. Okay. They're dealing with. I mean, how how many. I don't know how many uh, millions of you know volume every day on their platform, right. but using the same platform. So, okay. um, but yeah, it's it's like yeah. not not a big. It is a big deal if it's not done correctly. But right. once you know right. what you're doing. And, okay. Yeah. So so this helps the parent and the therapist. This the your AS staying in communication. Um, a like daily for, log. For example, I know that. Yeah. 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 Daily log, but. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's the easy stuff. The uh, it's more of the charting, right? And seeing trends in let's say a certain behavior. Okay. Um, usually that's a manual process, mm -hmm. right? So you're there, and some people use Excel, others don't. Uh, a lot of what I saw in independent therapists were literally on paper. They were 
like doing line graphs and charts on paper. Mm -hmm. Well, that just doesn't make sense, right? Oh, that's what we um, do in school. Yes, <laughs> but um, so that's that's one way it helps. It's uh, you know providing a, a really high level picture of what's going on for that independent uh, for that individual for that case for that child, you know, mm. okay. which helps you to make decisions easier. Right? Okay, and then right. So then so so then uh, you also offer them a graph, right, where you can actually see the, those trends. Or those yeah, so think of like um, Google Analytics or, you know, if you've taken a stats class, right, you see like a bunch of pie charts, donut charts, line right. graphs, right, you right. know, uh, blotter charts, like right. it's, it's, uh, it's data visualization, you know, right. that's the buzz term for it. Okay. It's visualizing your data. And you know, honestly, I think that's the best way to understand it. Because when you get a bunch of numbers and you know it's hard to yeah, you know, for the lay person to, to get that, but every, everybody even understands that, like humans hard. are very visual, right? Right. We're very very visual. We are. Um, we, are. We, right. we like pictures. We like things to be simple. Okay. Um, and every single executive brief that we've had to put together, mm -hmm. these people don't want to know the details. They want to see the picture. Like show me, you know, in a very simple format, how this thing is doing, right? Okay. So. So here is my next question before we go on break. Um, mm -hmm. That was that was great, and I you, you saw that, and you had the imagination and the, the visualization because that was personal, right? Mm -hmm. So you saw that. Well, I have a need. I have a child. I'm seeing this and this is. Now, how can you continue that process and and develop other things to solve other problems for other people? I know you do this on a because that you you still do things. I know you you work for. Sapien and... Yeah, well, now, yeah, I mean, I'm, so yeah, I'm a vendor for Sapien still, mm -hmm. uh, so not full-time employee, but now it's like a, you know, I'm a vendor for them, so mm -hmm. provide services right. um, for them and for other uh, for other businesses as well. Right. Um, so that's, you know, that's our that's our bread and butter. Right. That's, um, that's the business side of things, right? Mm -hmm. um, now, in terms of how do I... Because you, know, you don't have a continue. thousand things that I, I'm thinking like, oh, you can do this and you can do that. Well, ASD applied yeah. like that, it's, it, right now it does a very few things very well, right? Okay. And um, so our next step is really to uh, to possibly look at uh, looking into grants, right? Um, okay. You know, seeing how do we take this thing to the next level because mm -hmm. for me it takes time. Right now it, take, you know, it always takes hours to develop something. And right. I'm not talking about a week or two weeks. Sometimes things could be as long as several months. Okay. Now... You know that's that's a big ask when you're already running a business, right? Um, and um, especially so, since it's not generating income, so exactly, you can't. Yeah, yeah. You have to. You so know, as a business, it's a like, you know, with your time, I have to. Right? Yeah, I have to. You know, stick to my business model and make okay. sure that the business self is taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, there's a couple of different ways, right? So I can either mm -hmm. go uh, and, and and seek grants, or you know, get to that next level with BKD and mm -hmm. uh, then start investing um, some of the money is back back into the platform um, but you know in terms of like what the next big thing is it's you know that's really my main uh, focus right now is making sure that you know I keep getting at it I keep you know just killing it for uh, for companies so that I can um, you know just keep on driving the platform forward okay you know. so um, for our Latino um, Spanish speaking uh, the, uh, audience, audience why don't we kind of do a little synopsis of this? Sure. Um, eres, eres un experto digital y esto ha, ha creado un programa para ayudar uh, que se llama ASD Apply para ayudar a los niños con autism y este programa ayuda so, no solamente a los padres a llevar un, un, un registro de lo que el niño hace y el progreso del niño, pero mayormente es para el terapista el, el terapista pueda este, escribir ahí y tener oh, y va a tener como un una fórmula digital va a tener esto le ayuda con distintas partes de él de, 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 para, para los para los padres um, le da pie charts esto gráficas para que el padre pueda ver y también el terapista que tengan la información no solamente escrito pero que también lo tengan en, en digital que lo vean en, en gráficas hmm. verdad okay um, okay so we're gonna take a little break now and we will be right back so please call us at eight four five four eight five one three nine zero 
if you uh, have any questions or you want to uh, you know help us in any way please give us a call talk to you soon we'll get back to you soon <laughs> I sound very engaged. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Good. Good. Do you have a son who's autistic? Yeah. My cousin Brian is 13 and he's autistic. He doesn't talk much. Occasionally he'll say a few words. He's smart. Uh, he responds very strongly to animals and music. Yeah. He can read and uses a computer. But when he goes out in public, he sometimes has to wear headphones again because the outdoor loud, noise right? is too yeah. loud and yeah. causes him a crisis. Yeah, yeah. 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 Over stimulation. Yeah. 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 He's treated at uh, the New England Center for Child Care in Massachusetts, which is where they live. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, actually, I've heard of that. Yeah. 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 They do good. They've done good things with him. Yeah. 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 And his sister is about eight, and she understands completely what's going on. Yeah. She helps out. So. That's good. Yeah. Well, so did your little one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our daughter is Forget it. <laughs> Hello, and we're back. Uh, you're listening to Dr. Nilda Radio. Um, this is uh, Juan 95.7 y La Super Latina. And we're here with our guest, Cesar Perez, who is, again, the, um, the CFO of BKD Digital. Um, so... We want to talk a little bit more about ASD. Um, I think we, we kind of talked about what it what is what it is and what it does. Um, how does how do people um, if you're a mom or a therapist how do how do they get a hold of this? Um, well, the website right that's uh, so it's asdapplied.com, um, and I mean it's so simple to sign up for. We don't ask for any information other than your email. So you're just registering. Think of it as registering for a site. Um, and if you have Facebook, you can do uh, something we you know, call OAuth. So if you have a Facebook account, you simply click on the Facebook icon and you're logged in. Okay. Um, so that's really the best way to, uh, you know, to get a hold. To, yeah, yeah, okay. to check it out. And okay. you can always reach out to us. Twitter is great. Um, get a lot of engagement there. Um, it's like my favorite place to be, to be honest. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so let's say um, I'm a parent, and um, well, how do I, how would I get the therapists that are seeing my child to engage in that? Like, um, you know, that just starts off by a simple conversation. Um, you know, the, that therapist-parent relationship. Um, I mean, for us, it's great. You know, we, she's not just the therapist for Emilio. She's, you know, she's a family friend. Um, that's the Latino in you, darling. What's that? What's that? That's the Latino in you. <laughs> you come to my, you know, whatever. I, I see you well, once and you're my friend, and I see you twice and you're my family. But, but you yeah. know, there, there have yeah. been, you know, there yeah. were some that were just like, no, well, who is yeah. this person? They couldn't like, be family, that's it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> okay. yeah. Okay. And you quickly, you know, say, yeah. okay, this is not going to work out for Latino. Right. Um, okay. But, um, I mean, yeah, it just, okay. uh, it's a simple conversation. You know, okay. um, tell them about the product and, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not going to solve all of the, uh, you know, the therapist, like the agency's business uh, or problems in terms of, you know, uh, like insurance claims. Like we don't, we don't handle that. Like okay. the thing that we focus on is simply the data, the data collection and analysis okay. for the child. Okay. So we're not going to do okay. time cheats or oh, okay. anything like that. All right. Okay. That, that makes sense. Well, um. Again, I'm, I'm very fascinated by this. I think this is great. Um, how long did it take you to build it? Uh, so it took about uh, eight months. Uh, it took me eight months, and that was with um, that was actually with you know running the business at the same time. So delivering for clients. So this was really done nights and weekends, um, literally nights and weekends. Yeah. Like yeah. So you know, okay. think of four hours of sleep. And uh, uh -huh. I know it's I great. Know you know, you know, yeah, you know, it's yeah. It's, you gotta do what you have to do. When you're building, yeah, yeah. you're building yeah. a business, right? It, it does. It takes time. And um, so I want to translate this real quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, as a S A D applied es para los niños que tienen autismo, que son autísticos, y esto también esto lo ayuda a ellos uh, a a llevar un, un registro del niño y el progreso del niño. Entonces, 
esto, César nos cuenta que le tomó a él ocho meses para, y todavía lo está perfeccionando, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Todavía no ha llegado a perfección el programa. Right, well, it, it does what it does well right now, we're just, uh, we're adding features slowly. Okay, with that, um, okay. Yeah, so le, le, piece by piece, yeah. speaking with uh, other mm -hmm. therapists, mm -hmm. Seeing what their needs are because things you know things change over time, right? right. Sí. So um, that's what's important about connecting with uh, with actual community is mm -hmm. you know you get to identify their needs now sí. versus you trying to figure it out. You know? Okay. So es un proceso, es un proceso mm -hmm. que no que no en sí el, el, el innovador nunca termina, mm -hmm. nunca termina siempre lo mira y lo busca como le, como yo le dije desde ese uh, el 3D 3D Okay, you have to you see everything in 3D. So you're always like a, going around it and looking around it, like what else can I fix? What else can I perfect? So it's not really a process that you're like, okay, fine, I'm done, and, and it, that's it. So it, it, it is, a, a, it's going to be a process, mm -hmm. and, and that's a good thing, okay? All right, so um, how do you connect with community? How do you build it up? How, what are you doing to, right now, because this is a great, a great program. Yeah, I, I mentioned uh, Twitter. Twitter, uh, Facebook is great as well, but Twitter mm -hmm. has more of, a, of an engagement. I, at least for us, it's been, that's been the experience. Um, connecting with therapists across the country, um, even some in, uh, in the UK. The UK is great with autism, um, just in general. You know, they're kind yeah. of ahead of us right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, Yeah, that's how we how we stay connected. It's all really social media, and um, we sometimes forget about the social part of social media. You mm -hmm. know, it is about connecting with one another and exchanging ideas. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. that's how yeah, that's how we do. It. All right, so tell me a little bit about Bernie as a mom and how this has helped her and how she has engaged with other parents, because I know uh, Bernie is very engaged in her child's progress and. I mean, she's all over this. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about her experience and how that has been. Um, I'll try not to speak for, for her. As much. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah. But, you know, just from what I've seen, it's, I mean, she doesn't accept any answer, which is great. You know, I love that about Bernie. Um, unfortunately, you know, sometimes we fall into this kind of big condition, right, where someone knows more than we do. Right, we that intimidation. You know, whether type, yeah. yeah, whether it's you know we, we get into a doctor's office, then all of a sudden we forget about what we're feeling and we just accept what we're told to be feeling, right? Right. right. Um, you know, she's not that person. Um, so it's been, and, and it's not that she's you know uh, just always fighting. It's just she's ensuring that what is being uh, proposed is really the the right answer for Amelia. Okay. Um, I mean, she's a huge advocate. She. Uh, goes to, I mean, every single, um, not every single, but she does go to conventions, you know, she uh, takes it upon herself to go and learn what are the new or, you know, uh, methodologies or mm -hmm. uh, forms of training for, you know, mm -hmm. for children with autism. Mm -hmm. um, and she's getting involved also, you know, uh, with Twitter, like we met, you know, we met some great folks there. And, um, okay. you know, brings connecting with them to see what we can do locally, like at the school level, at the school district level. Okay. Uh, because this is rather something new. Autism has been around, I, I think, forever. Yeah. Uh, we're still figuring It's out what autism... It's only been identified as Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just now uh, trying to figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. So autism itself, the spectrum, I think it's, gonna, it's just going to change. The classification is going to change. Okay. Um, just because some things that are considered autism, uh, it's just, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to go down that road right now. That's a okay. whole other uh, radio show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so because as a mom, you know, it's, it, the, and the reason why I ask you is because, you know, her experience with, with ASD is important in not only as a parent to be documenting things, but also, you know, the engagement with other parents that are going through the same thing. I can't mm -hmm. imagine. Yeah, and, you know, one thing I shouldn't leave out, I mean, it, it, it's tough, right? It's, um, I, I, I have different feelings about it, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Or maybe lack of feeling. Uh, for whatever reason, yeah. but yeah, it's tough when you're kind of being told there's something wrong with your kid, right? You know, that's there's that part of it, that mm -hmm. emotional part of it. Um, um, but honestly, is it something wrong, or is it so, was, or is that child just not well, the same? You know, that's I mean, you still have people that think of autism as you know du Dustin Hoffman and Rain Man. Yeah. You know, that's like uh, he can count uh, a bunch of uh, what was it? Toothpicks or something that right, fell on the floor. Right, right, you know, right, no, right. that's not every case of autism. The mm -hmm. spectrum, it's a spectrum, it's, and yeah. everyone's so different. 
Right. Um, uh, there's a saying, if you met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, I love that. Um, yeah, it's I great. I love that. It's great. Yeah. Because it's, um, yeah, like we're, all, we're all very different. All wired differently. Okay, so um, what kind of projects does, uh, I know we're going to be wrapping up soon, but what kind of projects does uh, BKD uh, dedicate itself to? Well, that's simple. So we just work with, um, we work with you know most uh, major brands, um, you know larger brands. Uh, it's all in New York, in, in New York City. Uh, so you think of your, um, you know, let's say New York Life, your Verizon Wireless, um, your Unilever. So Unilever, they make a lot of household goods. You know, mm -hmm. Ragu, Dove, like those types. Uh, so we we service most larger agencies okay. uh, and brands, um, and it's all web development. Uh, for the most part, so it's heavy on the technology side. We do some content strategy, social media, um, but yeah, that's the core of our business. Okay, all right. So I, I can't leave you without asking you this question because <coughs> you have foresight, right? So um, are there any trends that you're noticing in technology? Um, that you see that there's going to be a change in the next five Well, definitely, like, I mean, one that's been trending now for a couple of years, for at least, uh, I want to say, three years, is just the wearable technology. Um, that's definitely going to be the, um, that, that's where we're moving. We're, we're no longer just going to be looking at these things, you know, uh, putting it in front of our face. It's not going to be a device. It's going to be some type of, you know, some technology that we're wearing. So think of Back to the Future. I mean, that's where we're heading, right? Seriously. We're heading to Back to the Future, Star Trek. You know, okay. Star Wars. Um, okay. That's what inspired all this uh, this this movement. Right. And when you look at technology, it's only been around for twenty years. I know. Such a young industry. I know. And look and at look at how, how much it changed, right? I know. So that's um, crazy. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, in terms of trends, definitely wearable technology. Okay. Wait until uh, I think it's Microsoft. They're they're coming out with uh, some type of sleeve um, where you know it retracts, pull it out and it retracts. Not yeah. really sure. I saw like some type of demo. It's obviously right. someone in Japan that's making it, but of course, of course. <laughs> but, yeah, um, very smart people. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, so you in 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 five years, whatever you see it, you see the trend going somewhere completely different. Um, it's going to be more of the same. Um, you know, more connection. You know, even we think we're connected now. Uh, I think this is just the beginning. You know, this is just very new. Uh, we're, you know, we're we're extremely connected now. It's a connected okay. world. Um, so it's just going to be more of it. Just different. Uh, again, different ways of connecting. We just have to see what those ways are. Okay. You know? All right. Awesome. Well, I'm really looking forward to the future because I just see, I see, and even in business, everything is is going such a different direction, and it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. It really is fascinating. Yeah. So, Cesar, I want to thank you for coming thank and being with us. It was this fun. has been this has been great, and um, I hope that people are really pulling a lot from this information because I have, you know, really fascinated people coming and doing, you know, doing great things, and I, I I love the fact that, you know, Latinos are really stepping up and you know just becoming. Well, first of all, we're very techy. <laughs> yeah, get get involved in technology. Any of the you know just young people out there, uh -huh. get involved now. Yeah, the technology is very important. Yeah, it's. Uh, sí. I, mean, I, I, mean, y... uh -huh. I was like a, a unicorn for a while <laughs> in my industry, yeah. you know, to find a Spanish guy in, yeah. in technology. But yeah. you know, it's it's growing. You know, it's, okay. uh, it's becoming a lot more diverse. So, okay. which is always Mira a good thing. Bueno. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we're going to end here and. Um, I am giving away a um, um, a free ebook. So if you want to um, get the free ebook, you go to drnildaperez.com forward slash ebook. Again, drnildaperez forward slash ebook. Um, and I think this ends our program for today. We look forward to uh, having you back next week, where I have another awesome guest. Next week, I have Dr. Peter Rios, who is um, he's. He has a Rios company, and um, he's just a really awesome person, just a really intelligent guy. So we look forward to that. We look forward to having him Tune here next in. week. Tune mm -hmm. in next week, okay? All right, guys, and that ends our program for today.
I want to thank you for being with us on Business Foresight, always creating strategies towards an extraordinary future. Remember, I'm here with you with strategies every Saturday. I'll see you next week.